Welcome back, everyone, to the Outer Worlds. Oh, fuck. Got you your auto mechanicals, and I'm lagging out. A smoking well, doctor, well, huh? Doctor Fenhill, it's not often I see you on this side of sick bay. Hmm. I make it a point not to get shot, and when I do, I can usually take care of the mess myself. It'd be nice to have you in here patching people up, not just blowing them apart. I respect what you're doing here, but you know I'm not ready to settle down. It's not you, it's me. <laughs> Gather your way then. You always do. Now, about your friend here. Were I a gambling woman, I'd wager you're responsible for my mechanical safe return. That's correct. I can't thank you enough. Alrighty then. Is that it? Yep. We don't get anything, just the assurance of a job well done. And some groundbreaker reputation. If you're just gonna leave this junk lying around. Which reminds me, do these refill? Uh, apparently not. That's fine. Ooh. Revolver Mark II, level 17. Oh my. I don't know. I like the auto mag a lot. That's a quick fucking excuse. Gladys. Have you had a moment to look into that little opportunity I told you about on Roseway? You don't hurry up. Someone will get to snooping around there before you do. Um, I investigated the distress signal. What's that? Speak up now. About the secrets you asked me to look for. What'd you turn up? Uh... <laughs> Uh, I found a prototype weapon schematic from Force, but I lost it. Bless your slippery little fingers. Isn't that just a shame? Prototype schematics go for a fair handful of bits around here. I acquired some research on Raptodon Musk, but I found another buyer. A shame you didn't visit old Gladys first. That would have fetched a good price. I may have thrown in a batch of my famous sugar cookies just to sweeten the deal. If Auntie Cleo's exporting wraps from Monarch, golly me. Someone's going to be in the soup when they get caught. And I found toothpaste formula, but then I unfound it. Well, that's just... Just swell, sweetheart. Good for you. Uh, I think that's it. Darnation. It sounded like a gold mine, but maybe that's just my old hopes getting in the way. I suppose it can't be helped. Law bless you for doing the legwork, sweetie. Don't forget your pal Gladys now. You can come visit any time. Uh, okay, and because I, <laughs> I didn't get any syllable information, I'll have to buy the Stellar Bay Nav key. Fantastic. Analog. Do be careful with it, dear, as these keys tend to be a tad hard to acquire. But that's okay. I've you got 10,000 bits. You Lilia Hagen in the sublight offices. She's a tear. You'll love her. Now, was there anything else? Uh, what else what can I ask her? Then? Uh... Ask the common folk, and they'll tell you it's on account of all the monsters on Monarch desperate to gobble you up. Because that's what the board tells them, you see. I think they made some fool mistake that would make them look bad to the rest of the colony, and they're trying to hide the evidence. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, what makes you think that? Those board folk are real prideful-like. Never want you looking behind the curtain, lest you see their... Derriers. I see. But old Gladys knows the score. The whole colony's not much more than a diorama, showcasing one board screw up after another. That's why we gotta keep them from getting their grubby mitts on Groundbreaker. She's our mess. Hmm. Are there still people down there? Probably. Every once in a while, 
we get these snippets of radio chatter. Edna shows them to me. Some man hooting and hollering about the light in us all. Huh. Claims he's transmitting from Monarch. But who knows if that's true. Might be true. Might be some new trick from the board. Understood. Anytime, sweetheart. You know where to find me. Here, take a candy with you. Damn it. She knows my weakness. Candy. I'm gonna be able to set Okay. Um Passage to anywhere. Okay. Uh weapons from the board. Yep. The cleaning machine. The empty man. Okay, and then stop by Lilia Hagen and be like, "Hey, I can get on Monarch." I think it counts. As long as there's paying work, you can count me in. And it's clear that Sublight Salvage is going to make me do some awful, awful shit. But uh, maybe I can make the best of it. Maybe I can throw a wrench in the works. Miss Hagen. If this is something Tobias could handle, see yourself out the door. I got a nav key to Stellar Bay. Is that job still up for grabs? Sure is. Welcome aboard, contractor. One of my guys in Stellar Bay has a lead on some high-grade salvage, but he went dark before he could spill the goods. We arranged a drop at the Saltuna Warehouse's loading dock. Find whatever he left there and take it to Fallbrook. My gal Catherine will be expecting you. Understood, ma'am. Uh, what kind of salvage are we looking for? When the board pulled out of Monarch, they buried or sealed anything they couldn't carry off-world. Apparently, one of Catherine's teams uncovered an abandoned lab with full tanks of Alta Vitae gas. Uh, what's Alta Vitae gas? It's exactly one million bits per cubic meter. Before you get too excited, the only thing rarer than Alta Vitae gas is a reliable buyer. Dangerous stuff. Acid for the nucleon in your cells. It's no good to anyone outside of a lab. But it can be a lot of fun, if you don't mind the possibility of rewiring your body on an atomic level. You and I have different notions of fun, Dr. Fenhill. Interesting. Uh, what's in Fallbrook? A few of my contractors run flights in there and out again, working around the board embargo. Right. We keep the community lubricated with a steady supply of booze and unconventional erotica. Byzantium kids with more money than sense can thank Sublight for their good time. How unconventional? Just asking for a friend. One of my guys filmed a raptodon grinding on an auto mech. Didn't end well for anyone, including the cameraman. Noted. Um, I'll take it. Now get going. Catherine will brief you on the details when you check in with her at Fallbrook. One last thing. When you're on the job, keep a pair of eyes on the back of your head. Understood? What am I looking for? Don't go looking for anything, except salvage. Just watch out. Understood, ma'am. You'll do fine. Probably nothing to worry about. Probably. I ain't worried if you aren't, Captain. Uh, honest. Sounds good. To the unreliable. Blech. About to say, this seems like an honest job. As honest as it gets. Uh, but there's no doubt in my mind that they'll ask me to do something I darker. I hear Felix and Parvati discussing the latest Aetherwave serial. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. So I was watching this program. Guess who the villain was in this week's Virginia Yang Girl Detective? Mr. Bertie Holcomb, that tall scholar. This I gotta see. Thanks. <laughs> Parkour. Ow. Welcome back, Captain. Now that you have acquired a nav key to Stellar Bay, would you like me to contact Dr. Wells? Uh, doesn't this guy have a life? Put him on screen. Well done. You'll love Monarch. Exotic climate, violent native species, fascinating culture, really. You'll need to speak with Hiram Blythe. He's known as the information broker, and for good reason. If anyone knows where I can find those chemicals, 
It's Hiram. I need those chemicals to revive the Hope's colonists. They can help us fight back against the board. They can help us set things right. If we don't put a stop to the board, they're going to drive this colony toward a complete societal collapse. You'll see what I mean when you arrive on Monarch. Uh... You sound like you've been there. <laughs> no, never. Monarch is a hotbed of political activity. I can't imagine why Hiram set up shop there. Cuisine, perhaps? Interesting. Where should I start? You'll want to hire the services of a skilled guide. I recommend a hunter by the name of Nioka. Frequents the drinking establishments of Stellar Bay. Very hard to miss. Once you have everything you need, make your way to Hiram Blythe's compound. Understood. Question? Come see me in my lab. I'll answer any questions you have. All right, come on. Best of luck. Everyone on the Hope is counting on you. What can I say? I love that sound. Um. Hmm. Looks good to me. No perks! Resin, frazzin. You know what, let's go to Phineas's lab. Chill with him for a minute. We have successfully arrived at Phineas's orbital lab, Captain. And we are still in one piece. Shall I congratulate myself? Or would you like to do the honors? Hmm. No one. I will go and see him alone. Never touch this! Hello? Can you hear me? Does this work? I'm just securing my ongoing experiments. And securing myself. Mind the mess. Uh, I haven't had a visitor since... Uh, in fact, I've never had a visitor. Hmm. Behold, Bubbles, the sisty pig. I'm sure those are totally fine. Completely safe. Oof. Worth 1.21 bits for some reason. Oh. Obscure body in the SK system. Experimental notes. Flash frozen organic material reverts back to its original cell structure when it's treated with a tincture of dimethyl sulfoxide. Sulfoxide. Very respectable 6%. Bad news. Difficult to acquire. Limited quantities of compound likely produced by Anticleo. Recently discontinued due to severe adverse reactions. Brain tissue suffered from rapid nucleation. Attempting treatment. Explosive cell death. Finished liquefi cleaning liquefied remains of cysty pig from laboratory floor walls and equipment. Uh, finished brewing. Two ounces. A spacious choice. Atrocious. Felt part of self die on the inside. Added spacious choice to the list. Note to self number two. Buy more mouthwash. Have named this lucky pig Bubbles. Giving an animal a name establishes rapport and creates a positive emotional bond. Allegedly improves flavor of tumors? Must look into that. Excellent creature, sissy pigs. Don't know how people used to survive without these genetic wonders of porcine succulents. Slaughtering a pig for meat instead of harvesting tumors that ripen naturally, falling off the flesh like mock apples from a tree. Seems the height of barbarity, truly a miracle of modern science. Personal files. Bypass. I've procured services of one Captain Alex Hawthorne. I hope he didn't name his ship after the quality of his services. Noted. Shrink ray. Aha! I see you found my portable molecular compression device, better known as a shrink ray. Find the target, point and shoot. Your target will shrink down into a manageable size, whereupon you may commence. Mop up, melt the pig. Well, he was willing to give it to me, and not anyone else. Pocket watch. Okay. Messages. Blythe. 
dumped a new associate dirt side to Terra 2 near Edgewater. They have a stake in my purpose, but trust in them only about 23.7% at present. They're recovering a ship. Should be along any time. Just need to know where to send them. Interesting. Careful, that's my communications terminal. I know. Oh, thank the Lord. Your skin hasn't spontaneously changed color. Potential side effect of the revival process. Very rare, but uh, you never know. Right. Welcome to my little uh, habitation, such as it is. I've got uh, caffeinoids, cysty bits, if you're into that sort of thing. So, welcome. Make yourself at home. My secret hideout is your secret hideout. Uh, for what it's worth. Thanks. Not at all, my intrepid accomplice. I should thank you for tolerating my somewhat brusque manner. I only regret that I couldn't save more of your fellow settlers, what with being hunted by the board and emptying my supply of necessary chemicals. I want to talk to you about something. Of course. What topics? What's on your mind? What topics do we have? Um, is there a reason you're hiding behind bulletproof glass? Oh, it's not you. I uh, do experiments in that room. Some of them get quite scientific. The unexpected is to be treasured, but uh, from a safe distance. Regardless, it's quite comfortable in here, you know. I have my beans, have my caffeinoids, plenty of toilet paper. You've got all the necessities. Absolutely. Let's talk. Uh, do you ever leave your lab? Oh, goodness, no. I wouldn't survive ten seconds in the blackness of the Aether. Well, no, I imagine I'd last at least twelve seconds before I'd lose consciousness and die of hypoxia. That's not what I meant. I mean, what is there outside your work? There has to be something you do for fun. I enjoyed the occasional Aether wave drama in my youth. Not anymore. All bored propaganda. I'd rather not to be brainwashed. To answer your question, I'd rather stay right here in my lab. There's too much work to be done. The Hope's colonists won't revive themselves, you know. Hmm. Um, why are you so obsessed about that? Because we've lost our way. The board has a stranglehold over this colony, and we've all been conditioned into total obedience. I see. The Hope is full of specialists, scientists, engineers, talented individuals like you. People who haven't been corrupted by the board. Got it. Unfortunately, the Hope's colonists have been frozen for decades, well past your shelf life, so to speak. No offense. So... Um... Right. This is interesting. They're referring, Phineas here and the game itself is referring to us as players. We, as people who are not na native to this world, understand and can see the absurdities of it. We can hear, you know, we can, we can hear about all the corporate stuff and be like, that's fucked up. Like, oh yeah, he killed himself. That's corporate vandalism. That's fucked up. But no one else thinks so. And that's why he needs the Hope's Colonists, because they're the only people who will say, that's fucked up. Uh, chemicals? Precisely. The chemical I need is dimethyl sulfoxide, a rare, potent, essential to reviving long-frozen bodies. Ten years. That's how long the average human can remain in hibernation. You were frozen for decades. In theory, you never should have survived the revival process. But... The conventional theories are wrong. You're living proof that it can be done. There's yet hope for the hope. <laughs> get it? Yes, I get it. Um, <laughs> don't be funny. Don't try to be funny, Fanny, as it doesn't work. Glad to hear that. Everyone in the hope is depending we'll do on us. Our very best to save them all. I'd best get back to work. Oh, I can feel my last dose of caffeinoid fading. Sounds about right. Okay. So, uh, the Alta Vitae is not what he's looking for. He's interested in a another uh, chemical. Anything over here? Nope. Oh. 
But, yeah. Um, there is a reason he's so devoted to his work. And, yes, he, he, he's lying. The reason for the bulletproof class is that he's afraid of me. Captain, Felix and the vicar are arguing again. Oh, boy. 